So hey guys, it's Tilly to come back to another video and today's video is going to be a my everyday simple, supernatural, easy, quick, um, I guess like a just a very slight slation um, makeup tutorial. Um, this is basically what I would wear every day to class and things like that. I haven't really been wearing too too much just very simple so this is basically the look I've been going with so if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching Okay, so first I'm going to start with this Pearl Essence Coconut Water, and this is just a mist. It's kind of similar to the Mario Badescu, but um, this just feels more hydrating. And I've been needing some hydration lately. My skin has been really, really dry. I've been breaking out and stuff, as you can see. So I'm going to use that to just basically prep my skin. While that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and start on my brows. And lately, I've been lacking a pretty thick brow. So I've been using my brow pomades without using like a um, pencil or anything. So I'm going to be using this Cabral from Benefit. And this is a number five. I don't use this every time I do my makeup. But it is a nice product that I do like to use from time to time. So And just kind of outline and when I have my bun um it kind of presses down my face so it makes my like face sink in so I can't really see my brows really good so I like to just push it back so I can see what I'm doing so I'm gonna go in and outline I'm going to go into my um, Ulta Full Coverage Concealer and this one is in the shade Deep Warm. I'm going to use this to clean up my brows and I love this concealer so much. And I'm sorry if this video is all over the place. Um, it literally is because I need to find a new um, post for my background because um, where's my brush? I need to post my background because the one I'm using is just not big enough it's not wide enough so it's like I have to get the camera um the background super close to me for it to look okay and if y'all don't know that's very hard to do so um I gotta yeah I'm gonna just have to find something else to put my background on I'm just gonna take the excess concealer and just blend it over my eyelids so I can have a eyeshadow primer and I don't really wear eyeshadow um on regular days but if I do I'm gonna show you the look um, that I would do so yeah and this concealer is so good you guys I swear to you I haven't used the Tarte Shape Tape but I know it's pretty similar to it because I can just tell by how people talk about the um, Tarte Shape Tape that it's pretty similar for a drugstore concealer bare minerals prime time right here because like I said my skin has been super dry lately, so I'm going to use a primer that's going to be hydrating for me. So this one's very hydrating, so I'm going to use this and just rub onto my skin. So before we go on with any foundation, because we don't want to use too much foundation, I'm going to go in and spot conceal with this concealer. So I have some pimples over here, some discoloration, because I don't want to use a lot of makeup because it's just a school look and my forehead is so dark like it doesn't make any sense I'm gonna use my finger to just blend this out so hopefully in the next few months my background situation will change you'll start seeing a smoother background less wrinkles and it not being as close to me as it is now so just pray guys just pray <laughs> okay so we got a good nice base foundation I'm going with is this L'Oreal infallible pro matte foundation and it's probably one of my favorite foundation drugstore foundations honestly um, I'm just gonna take just a little bit I'm just putting on basically what I think I need just putting on what I think I need so I'm just gonna take some dots and I have been liking full coverage um, lately Somebody's walking extra hard under me. I'm so sorry. This thing about having roommates, like when you're ready to record, sometimes you can't, or it's really loud because 
you will be talking. But I'm gonna use this um, foundation brush that came out of one of those um, TJ Maxx little brush palettes as well. I'm just gonna blend this in. So don't expect this video to be, you know, up to par like I think it should be because I am recording at 10 o'clock at night on a school night. So yeah, it's not gonna be the best. Impromptu. <laughs> And there we go okay and for concealer I'm gonna use my favorite which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in 4.0 I'm gonna use this and just take a small amount and I do use this on a daily basis and it just really covers up everything ever so slightly good like it just looks so good so we got that I'm going to take my beauty blender and just wet it with some of my Pro Essence. And we're just going to blend this out. But if you can see, this concealer is amazing. So amazing like I just love it for my under eye it makes me want to get some more because I know it's been discontinued okay that's all um I'm gonna use our um, Laura Mercier I think it's medium deep powder and translucent powder mixture to set all of this so I'm just gonna set the highlighted places so chin and I'm using this powder um, because sometimes I like to use the just translucent, but that's for if I really want to highlight it look. But this is just a normal school day, you know, you're trying to slay every every student, but you know, this ain't like no fashion show, so you can you can let them live. So we're gonna go over and set that concealer that we left on top of our lid. And just, I just take this powder and just put it everywhere because it's so good. Like, if you want to invest in any setting powder, I really recommend the um, Laura Mercier. I'm going with my usual, which is the MAC Skin Finish, Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. I'm going to use this to just set the outer portions of my face. Now, we're going to go into contour. I'm going to use the shade light palette. I'm going to use the contour shade right here. And just take this e.l.f. contour brush. The blush, and the blush I'm going to be using is this Tarte blush and partier and I got it for my birthday from I think Sephora so I'm going with this and this is my every who was texting me this is my everyday blush um literally I use this blush if I'm just you know everyday makeup look because it's just a really light simple not too pigmented blush okay Okay, so my everyday palette that I've been loving lately is this Milani palette right here. And this one, I don't know what the name of it is, Earthy Elements. And I've been wanting this palette for a long time. I finally got it. So we're going to go on with um, this shade right here. And this is like a transition color shade, especially for my skin tone. I'm just going to take that and kind of make sure everything is set on my lid but also just put that right into the transition area shade which is probably one of my favorite shades out of the palette I'm just going to take that um, into my crease this is like the perfect palette for women of color because all these colors really complement our skin tone and can be very neutral oh, 
this palette is so freaking gorgeous like even these shadows are nice I'm not gonna lie that looks good now we're gonna go into a lid color and the color I'm gonna take is well there's two colors I like I like this one which is has like a little red tone to it and I like this one today we're gonna take this one, which is the brown shade and we're just gonna pat this all over the lid and like I said, this is literally an everyday palette. Um, you can barely tell. I mean, you can tell I have eyeshadow, but it's not. It's not like crazy, like you know, purples and things like that. It's very natural. Mm, so pretty. Mm. Let's go back over. okay and then you have basically your inner corner color right here which is just perfect like this is probably one of the best palettes drugstore palettes i've used in a very long time because i started off with drugstore things i didn't start off with high end and a lot of the palettes either weren't women of color friendly or they just were pigmented enough for me by ulta need to really step up on their eyeshadow pigmentation and things like that because it sucks so Milani you're doing pretty good take that on my brow bone and one of my like super natural um, highlighters is this wet and wild one and this one is in boozy brunch and I just think it's just you know a very simple um, highlighter it's really nice pigmentation just pretty simple you know not too much unless you want that I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks we're gonna set our face and I'm just gonna be using this pearl essence white charcoal mattifying setting spray because um I really like it alone it looks really good now if I was like going to be outside for a long time I would use this and another setting spray but since this is just you know my everyday go to class come back usually when it comes off so I'm gonna use this And then you have to basically fan this dry because if you don't, you're going to look crazy. It makes my foundation, all that, that I did, all the work I did look so good. Now we're going to go in and set our brows because when you get all that powder out, I'm just using this Anastasia Brow Gel. And I literally use this every day and be so sad when it runs out because then I have to buy some more. Mascara. Um, it's funny because lately I haven't really been wearing mascara. <laughs> And I would like wear a full face just about but not put on mascara. You can put on mascara, but I feel like sometimes mascara makes me look even more um less natural. And this is a this is supposed to be like a super natural but slaying type of makeup look, but sometimes you don't even need mascara. And lately I really haven't really been wanting any. Lately I haven't really been wearing lipstick or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go in with this chapstick. Um I literally will put on some chapstick or some lip gloss that's just like nude so it's just like a sheen over your lips nothing really major because I don't know I just haven't been really feeling you know all of that at least lately so this is about it that I've been doing lately for my super natural everyday college makeup routine sometimes I also will go on with this um, shimmer lip gloss just to give me you know a little bit more of a glossy look um but other than that i don't really wear anything um the last week like last week literally i wore makeup probably two days yeah about two days so um this is my if i do anything this is like my legitly realistic what i would wear um mascara if i feel like it but if not just this so i hope you guys like this video make sure that you don't forget to thumbs up like comment and subscribe <laughs> and um i'll see you guys in my next video i'm so sorry this video is so horrible it's all over the place but this is usually how it goes i'm just not editing it out